Why don't you get a beater car? Hey, it's a crazy boy. It's a crazy boy. Who's going to follow you home? Yeah, that's that's like a kind of a bug, you know, a $12 million mansion. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but they all have very sophisticated uh, alarm systems. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Super duper ones recorded and all that and okay. flashing lights. And, uh, awesome, right? it, well, there are some not rich people living in Beverly Hills, renters. Yeah, that's true, you know. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's go ahead and take a break, uh, okay? Last break of this hour and checking in with uh, Chris Little. Almost 1,800 people are in LA County hospitals with COVID-19. The number of COVID patients has gone up more than 300 over the past two days. Officials are worried that the spike in cases could overwhelm local medical facilities. People working at L.A. County public and private schools are going to have to wear medical-grade masks starting today. An official with the International Coalition in Iraq says two armed drones have been shot down at the Baghdad airport. Let's we'll see what's up on the 105 now. So many of our listeners have entrusted Sweet Jane back from the attorneys in their time of need after being injured in an accident. And you know why. And the mind can be following that accident. People don't know what to do. Or who to turn to. Your life has changed. You're in pain. You might not be able to drive or work. The worst part is the insurance company that promises to protect you will try to pay you the least amount possible for your injuries. The team of Sweet James will not let this happen. They'll help you get the medical care you need and help you get your life back on track. While their award-winning attorneys work on your behalf to get you the most amount of money possible, you pay nothing until they win your case. If you or someone you love is hurt in an accident, call Sweet James at 800-500-5200, 800-500-5200, or SweetJames.com. Attention I-10 freeway drivers. Freeway and ramp closures are coming up for the I-10 Express Lanes project. Don't get stuck. For dates and detours, visit GoSBCTA.com. That's GoSBCTA.com for more information on the I-10 Express Lanes project. Southern California weather, sunny, highs in the mid-50s to around 60. This report brought to you by the San Bernardino County Transportation Authority. Let's check in with the KFI in the sky and see what's up on that 105. You bet you're not too much, and that's a good thing. If you're around the 605, you take that West 105 all the way down there. It's a pretty good drive. A little slow in spots, but that's about it. Now, if you've been listening to uh, 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 Bill and Chris and Wayne, everybody talking about airport travel, we just had a good look at LAX. Now, the departure levels are not gridlocked, and they truly were gridlocked through the holidays. Not quite that bad. It's busy. It's a confounding spot, that's for sure. And there's a little bit of a problem coming off Century Boulevard to the upper level, so little slow going through there. Now, a big problem leaving the San Francisco Valley. South 405 right around the 101. There was a crash there. Go from the shoulder. However, it's stop and stop and stop for the Sherman Way. Once you get going up there, you'll be okay. In mid city LA, in trouble. Work is taking a turn over the north 710 right now. Going to go back and check westbound around uh, Crenshaw and Washington. Earlier problems. Uh, we'll see if this still working or not. Injured in an accident. This is Superwoman. Superlawyer.com. Jeff Ball. KFI in the sky. This report is sponsored by Compassion International. Compassion International has a network of over 300 church partners in Haiti, poised to bring critical relief to those suffering because of the recent earthquake. Make your $40 one-time gift now by texting the keyword radio to 97646. The holy grail of home ownership is to pay off that mortgage as soon as possible. Well, I want to explain a totally different way of thinking about your home, your money. Paying off your home makes no sense. In the past few years, your home value has increased like crazy. Home prices have gone up exponentially, and that means your home's equity has grown exponentially too. And all that value in your house is just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. Money is so cheap right now, you probably think that the money in your home is safe, and investing that money is dangerous. Not necessarily true. If your home loan rate is 3% or under, you only have to make more than 3%. The problem is that paying off your home is so deeply rooted, you probably learned it from your parents, their goal is to pay off the house, live modestly into old age, minimal expenses. Today, it is totally different. We don't have guaranteed pensions to count on anymore. Social security benefits don't let you keep your lifestyle. So your retirement is probably powered by your investments. I was talking to Mark Tice at HMS Capital about this, and I asked him, how about a 30-year loan versus a 15-year loan? He said he'd recommend a 100-year loan because he believes the goal is not to pay off your house, but put your home's money to work for you. If this way of thinking about your home, your money, your future makes sense, 
Call HMS Capital at 833-255-5698, 833-255-5698. HMS Capital encourages you to apply with them and another lender at the same time. They're that confident they can get you the best deal. HMS Capital is the only lender I know that does it. I've done two mortgages with HMS Capital. I've known Mark for over 16 years. So call HMS Capital at 833-255-5698 or visit hmscapital.com. That's hmscapital.com. HMS Capital funding is a DBA going to incarnate payment out of payment number 2427. HMS Capital is licensed under the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. Under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. License number 4130 Equal Housing Under. When Bill and I needed new windows over 20 years ago, we paid the company we thought would do a good job. We were so disappointed. So we saw a genuine need for a company with strong character, one that people could have faith in. American Vision Windows was born right then and there. The best thing about working for American Vision Windows and with customers specifically is having their dreams come true. And we try to accomplish the best job we can to make them happy. It was a great experience. I couldn't ask for anything better. I've been in the construction trade for 35 years. The level of quality of products that they use for their prep work was top notch. American Vision Windows continues to revolutionize the home improvement industry one customer at a time while changing the lives of our employees for the better. It's so simple. Happy employees, happy customers. Zero percent interest, zero payments until 2023. Call 888-226-9908. That's 888-226-9908. Or visit AmericanVisionWindows.com. Approved credit, not all applicants will qualify. Cannot be combined with any other offers. New customers only. Restrictions apply. Call receipt website for details. Offer expires at 131-22. CSW number 77832 My Heart Radio Earth is here with little tips for a healthier planet. It sure feels good to step into a warm car after letting it heat up for a few minutes. However, this practice wastes gas, increases emissions, and pollutes the air. Limit idling your car to no more than three minutes to save money at the gas station and improve air quality. Brought to you by iHeartRadio Earth and the National Environmental Education Foundation. To find more tips for smarter, sustainable living or to take action in your own community, go to iHeartRadio.com slash Earth. At Ralph, fresh groceries are our thing. So we check your delivery order for freshness at every step from farm to store and pick and pack every veggie in your free pickup order with care because we treat your food the way we want ours to be treated. We're fresh every day, so shop anyway. Ralph. Fresh for everyone. Free pickup on orders of thirty-five dollars or more. Restrictions may apply. Get more ways to save at the buy five or more, save one dollar each sale. Just buy five or more participating items and save a dollar each with cars. Ralph, fresh for everyone. Here's my hope for 2022, Mike Bond. The closest we can see right now to us actually having a recall vote. If he's recalled, if somebody like Rick Caruso becomes mayor, if the recall of L.A. County District Attorney George Cascola is affected, I think there's hope in 2022. John and Ken, we did it too. That is an inspirational message on KFI. <laughs>
to reduce sentences and reduce the number of people in prison. Well, a Washington Post University of Maryland survey found that uh, overall about 34% of Americans say violence against the government is sometimes justified. Breaks down along party lines, obviously, fewer Democrats said that compared to Republicans, but the most violent group are the independents. 41% of independents said, depending on the situation, violence against the government might be necessary. Yeah, but, you know, that is so specious because uh, what does the government have to do, right? Invasion of privacy, tap your phone, therefore you can uh, commit violence against the government. Uh, or, let's say, the uh, National Guard waking up one morning and you're surrounded by National Guard uh, and, you've, and they're about to attack your home. Okay, violence is legitimate at that point. Uh, but is it legitimate with a phone tap? Is it legitimate with uh, a stop? Is it legitimate with uh, certain kinds of searches? So uh, this argument is kind of weird. Uh, and you're right, it is along party lines. Right. Another interesting thing they showed was uh, that 92% of Democrats thought Trump was, you know, to blame for the riot on January 6th, but only 27% of uh, Republicans. Yeah, and by the way, the 27%, if you look at the other side of the 27%, which is, uh, what, uh, I guess, uh, 72% of them uh, say Trump is not to blame, it's about it's the 73. Yeah, that's about the same percentage that say Trump was legitimately elected and the election was fraudulent. That's the one that floors me. Trump was, the, is, and should be the president. Three quarters of uh, Republicans in this country. I mean, man, we live in the twilight zone. We really do. Oh, well, I watched the twilight zone over the weekend. There's a marathon. It's pretty good. Uh, this is kind of like the twilight zone. Um, fans were confused during the football game between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Jets because Antonio Brown, the wide receiver, ripped off his pads, ripped off his shirt and his undershirt and his gloves, and he waved to the crowd and ran off the field. Very and now he is no longer a buck. Yeah, they fired him immediately. Uh, now, what uh, what started that incident? Because you don't see that. Was he in an altercation with another player? Well, he was on the sidelines. Uh, he was, um, you know, up in arms on the sidelines, and they were trying to uh, calm him down, and then... From there, he went on. So who knows? Yeah, he's got, well, some, he's got some real issues. It's because I'm sure it's other things too. But it's because at that moment, the Bucks were trailing by 14 points, and the Jets stink. So I think he was very frustrated that they were losing that badly to such a horrible team. Well, yeah, but guess who won? Yes, the Bucks did come back and win it, but he, you know, he couldn't have foreseen the future, I guess. Or well, maybe he, he could. Was yeah, around. That's true. And the general manager said that all he would say is he is no longer a Buck. Done. So I'm assuming he was fired by the time he actually got into uh, the uh, the, the limo. limo. The, no, no limo. <laughs> limo. Uh, he got into. Well, he did. He went out oh, and got okay. in a limo and so drove away. Okay, wow. so he was driven away. That's fantastic. Uh, and he's done that before. Was he picked up by another team, by the way, or is he just out? I don't know if another team now would want to touch him, but let's wait and see. I mean, we're waiting to see if anybody else wants to take a nibble on that guy. All right, let's do uh, one last one. All right, well, how about this? Uh, in the world of hockey, a fan of the Seattle Kraken is being praised as a hero because she was sitting beside, uh, sitting behind excuse me, the bench of the Canucks, and she noticed that the assistant equipment manager, a guy named Brian Hamilton, had an irregularly shaped mole on the back of his neck. She is uh, going to be a medical student, by the way, and she noticed some features of this mole that led her to be concerned that it was cancerous. And she actually wrote a note and held it up uh, to the glass, and he had the team doctors check it out, and it was a malignant melanoma, and he now credits her with saving his life. Which is pretty impressive when you think about it. Yeah. All right. Say the least. Did she get season tickets for free? Uh, she, she, well, they gave her ten thousand dollars. Well, she the, the teams the two teams to, got together yeah, to give her ten thousand dollars, and uh, she I, I think she's been hired by the National Hockey uh, Hockey League as uh, the cancer whisperer, and they made a brand new position for that. That part's not true though. Oh. Hmm. 
That was good. Yeah. All right. We're done, guys, uh, with the news until 8.30. And so, as we always do when we come back at the start of a new year, uh, new laws that kick in. And we're obviously not going to go through all of them because there's hundreds of hundreds, hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands. So I'm going to grab some of them that have been around, and we'll do a couple of segments, uh, new driving laws coming up, and just general new laws uh, coming up in the uh, next segment. This is KFI AM 640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. We're not just in smart speakers. We're in a couple of smart ears as well. KFI. And KOST HD2. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Another possible COVID course correction in the math department. I'm Chris Little, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Dr. Anthony Fauci is recommending people get a COVID-19 test after the newly imposed five-day COVID isolation period. People are getting concerned about why not test people at that time. I myself feel that that's a reasonable thing to do. The CDC's new coronavirus protocols do not currently recommend a test at the end of the reduced five-day isolation period, which went into effect last week. However, Dr. Fauci says he thinks the agency is going to change that recommendation. Squashy. It's brought to you by Water Heaters Only. The Burbank School District Board of Education has decided to continue in-person classes this week. Despite the third day of education, the board of education is not to require mandatory COVID testing. Six passengers, fake compliments, thanks to Jonathan Tech. Some schools mostly have already partnered with test lab as well as the state may actually already have testing. There's no indication schools will have to close during the winter surge. UC Irvine Pediatrics Professor Dr. Dan Cooper says closing schools last time didn't stop kids from potentially spreading COVID because working parents still sent their kids to daycare. In Orange County, Corbin Carson, KFI News. So Cal Final score in the Rams' fifth straight victory, 20-19. 
Both fans were not firing their nails as the Chargers easily defeated the Denver Broncos at SoFi Stadium by a score of 34 to 14. And in a development that's not entirely surprising, troubled Tampa Bay wide receiver Antonio Brown is a Buccaneer no more after slipping off his pads and jersey and storming out of MetLife Stadium in the middle of yesterday's game against the Jets. I'm Will Wesley, KFI Sports. As the effort to vaccinate more Americans against COVID-19 continues, some wonder if natural immunity offers the same protection against the virus as vaccines. Dr. Dr. Stephen Gordon tells the Department of Infectious Disease of the Cleveland Clinic to find out more about natural immunity and the coronavirus. So getting COVID-19 does provide immunity, the duration of which we don't know. However, it also carries with it some risk. I would much rather get a vaccine to prevent getting the infection and run the risk of not just acute complications of the infection. We do know lingering symptoms can occur in many patients even after the acute symptoms have resolved. And so that's another reason why I'd much rather protect myself with vaccine than natural infection. That was Dr. Stephen Gordon, chair of the Department of Infectious Disease of the Cleveland Clinic. iHeart Radio will continue to keep you informed with the latest coronavirus news. For do it. No, no, my vaccine. Don't know. Check out vaccines.gov. Neo U is my new favorite fitness app. And at $3.99 a month, I can't believe everything I get. Real time coaching, daily live workouts where I can see my friends, plus thousands of on demand classes like strength, boot camp, yoga, and more. I'm obsessed with Neo U's interactive workouts where my instructors can see and talk to me. And when you sign up for delivery free is always fresh because we check our produce in every stop. Trouble oh, California oh, weather from KFI right after we take a look at the financial report. Looks like the Dow is up 11 points. S&P 500 up 6. NASDAQ is up 76. The price of a regular gallon of gas in California is 466. Sunny today, highs in the mid 50s to around 60. Some low clouds and fog overnight. Lows in the mid 30s to mid 40. Catchy frost in some of the colder parts of the IE. Partly cloudy tomorrow, but highs again in the mid 50s to around 60. Right now, Fountain Valley 39, Lake Forest 40, it's 33 in Hockey and Heights, 42 in Diamond Ball. We need local live in the KFI Twin Grow and Newsroom. I'm Chris Lee. Good morning, uh, Bill Hingle here. And on Monday morning, the third of the first of 2022. And hope you have a good New Year. I'm doing it.